Well, here we are, John. We now know that Judge Norieka is not going to accept the plea agreement. And as we were talking about just a moment ago, it's got to do. Judge Norieka does not uh, believe uh, that the, she has questions over the constitutionality of that diversion clause uh, of the immunity that Hunter Biden would receive in this deal uh, to not prosecute on the gun charge. Uh, she is not OK with that. So the headline here is she has not accepted the plea deal. That would likely indicate we could be headed for uh, a trial. Ooh, baby, things are getting juicy with the Hunter Biden case. A couple months ago, Hunter Biden was charged with two tax crimes for not paying over $100,000 relating to over $1.5 million in income. He was charged with two misdemeanors for failure to pay those taxes. He was expected to plead guilty on these charges. He had entered a plea agreement with prosecutors who were recommending just two years of probation. He was also going to plead guilty to illegal possession of a firearm and enter a diversion program because after all, it is illegal for drug addicts and crack addicts to own a firearm. Well, that came to a screeching halt today and it is a crazy story. We're going to be breaking it all down. The judge has just rejected this plea agreement and Hunter Biden has entered a not guilty plea. So there is still a chance that Hunter Biden will be heading to prison, heading to jail. This is a wild, wild story. Buckle your seatbelt. You're going to want to stay tuned for this one. Let's rewind to last night. The judge presiding over the Hunter Biden case has accused a member of the Biden legal team of misrepresenting himself on a phone call to the court. In a brief order Tuesday afternoon, U.S. District Judge Marilyn Norica wrote that an employee of Biden's law firm representing the president's son, had called the court clerk's office and falsely claimed to work for a Republican lawyer in the hopes of persuading the clerk to remove documents that apparently contained Biden's personal tax information. But that's not why. Biden's lawyers wanted these documents removed. You see, this Republican lawmaker had introduced these documents to the court that were directly from the whistleblower's that document the crimes that Hunter Biden had perpetrated or supposedly perpetrated. He's not proven guilty yet. So this lawyer who worked for Hunter Biden prank called the courthouse and tried to get these documents removed. And the judge in the court caught them red-handed. So you're going into court already on a bad note. You just had a member of your law firm prank call, pretend to be a Republican lawmaker or a, or a lawyer representing a Republican lawmaker who introduced these documents that show that Hunter Biden may have been committing a ton of crimes and you try to get these documents removed. Didn't work. They got busted. Well, they show up to court today and it was not good. It did not go how Hunter Biden wanted it to go. Hunter Biden pleads not guilty as plea deal falls apart during Delaware court appearance. His plea deal fell apart during his first court appearance Wednesday morning as he pleaded not guilty and federal prosecutors confirmed the president's son is still under federal investigation. This is huge. You see, Hunter Biden was getting the sweetest of sweetheart deals. If me or you were charged with a similar crime, we would be heading to federal prison. Hunter Biden was under the impression that this deal would give him immunity from any other charges. And when the judge saw this, she was like, wait a second, is this guy still under investigation? And the prosecutor had to tell the truth. And they were like, yeah, he's still under federal investigation. So the judge was like, what the hell? How can you give him immunity or basically give him immunity from further charges if he's still under investigation? That doesn't make sense. And that may be unconstitutional. We cannot give him immunity. When Hunter Biden's lawyer heard that he was not going to be getting immunity for further charges, he stood up and he said, deals off if there's no immunity. This is something out of a movie. This is crazy. This is corruption at its finest. The DOJ and Hunter Biden's attorneys were colluding to give this guy the best sweetheart deal of all time. He was in Ukraine making bags full of money, millions of dollars in money, illegal money, influence peddling, selling out his country, came back, didn't pay taxes on it, was smoking crack, and got caught with a firearm while under the influence of drugs. 
If anybody else had done this, if they had done this, they would be in prison. But the only person who gets away with it is the president's son. Judge Marilyn Norica did not accept the plea agreement questioning the constitutionality, specifically the diversion clause, and the immunity. This is the key part. The immunity Hunter Biden would receive. Hunter Biden had been expected to enter a pre-trial diversion agreement regarding a separate felony charge of possession of a firearm by a person who was an unlawful user or addicted to a controlled substance. The judge pressed federal prosecutors on the investigations and questioned whether there was the possibility of future charges and asked prosecutors if Hunter Biden was currently under active investigation. Prosecutor says he was. So he is still under federal investigation separate of these criminal charges, but would not specifically answer what the president's son was under investigation for. The judge asked again if the government could potentially bring a charge related to Foreign Agents Registration Act, FARA, to which the DOJ replied yes. So it's looking like the DOJ is looking at Hunter Biden for going over to foreign countries, influence peddling without registering as a foreign agent. At that point, the original plea broke down. Defense attorney Chris Clark said he did not agree with that. Then there's no deal, Weiss said, the DOJ said. Clark countered, as far as I'm concerned, the plea deal is null and void. So you had the DOJ, you have Hunter Biden's attorneys colluding, trying to get this handled. You know Joe's sitting in the White House right now, pissed off. He wanted this thing swept under the rug, and it's looking like that's not going to happen. After that, both sides asked the judge for time to negotiate. Norika left the courtroom for 20 minutes or so and allowed both sides to continue negotiations. Ultimately, Hunter Biden pleaded not guilty because Norika could not accept the plea deal as it was constructed. She rep repeatedly expressed her concerns about the constitutionality of the diversion deal related to the felony gun charge, specifically that the main issue with the agreement was that if Hunter Biden breached the deal, the judge would need to make a finding of fact on the matter before the government could bring charges. This is craziness, folks. So to summarize, you had Hunter Biden commits tax charges, a gun charge, the DOJ and Biden's lawyers come together and they concoct this crazy plea agreement that keeps Hunter Biden out of jail and basically protects him from any other future criminal charges, even though they don't really relate to these charges. The judge sees that and says, wait a second, this is bullshit. You cannot do this. This is unconstitutional. How can you, as the Department of Justice, who are still investigating somebody, offer a plea agreement that provides immunity on the exact charges that you're still investigating that individual for. It makes no sense. And as the judge, I cannot sign off on it. So this is not good for the Biden administration. Obviously, this is not good for Hunter Biden, but this is good for the American people and lady justice. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace.